Hi, I'm Amy from Clean Cloth Nappy Hire and I'm making this video today to show you some budget absorbency hacks for your pocket nappies. So um, many pocket nappies, the really simple ones, are made in China um, and they're a fairly standard design that you'll find um, all over the, the online buying world. So um, this is just an Alva as an example. So you've got a pool shelf and it's got, generally got a suede cloth in a um, just single gussets, quite a simple nappy and it's got the pocket in the middle where you stuff the inserts. Now this type of nappy is sold not just direct from China so um, you have brands such as Alva and Happy Flute who are the bigger Chinese uh, manufacturers and they have uh, fairly good quality nappies actually um, and then you have multiple resellers of nappies from various Chinese factories so you'll find these nappies on uh, you'll find them on eBay and you'll find them um, on various e-commerce shops um, based in Australia and it's not always apparent that um, that they are on sold cheap Chinese nappies but uh, one thing once you get familiar with the pattern um, you'll be able to pick from the shape of the nappy uh, that it is but the other the giveaway is the insert so this is a what I like to call a microfiber base insert and this nappy insert um, is generally made from two or three layers of microfiber and it comes with these as a standard insert in these budget nappies. So um, microfiber is, uh, it's quick to absorb, but it's not terribly absorbent. And it sort of, it rings out like a sponge, so it grabs onto moisture. It's got a huge surface area on these fibers and it grabs onto moisture really quickly. But then you squeeze it and all of the moisture is released from those fibers. So um, even if you've got a couple of inserts in the nappy, it can be a bit leaky. So I'm using natural fibers in these hacks today uh, to help you get the best from your pocket nappies. So the first hack is a pre-fold. So you may have some pre-folds already if you've used, uh, if you use pre-folds on your newborn for an example, um, you can use those again in the pocket of your nappy and pre-folds are generally made from cotton or they're made from bamboo, hemp or a mix of all of those fibres. So um, this is just one example. So this is a a crawler size, this is a real nappies pre-fold. Um, obviously there are many, many ma manufacturers of pre-folded um, pre nappies around the world and you may have a different one to me. Um, so what I do with the pre-fold to fit it into the pocket is depending on the size of the pre-fold, I just fold it in half and then I fold it in half again. And that's given me a nice thirsty insert to stuff into the pocket of my nappy. Um, and actually you use the pre-fold, you replace the inserts entirely when you're using a pre-fold. You can also use muslins, you know like the muslins that you wrap your baby up in uh, in summer. They're great, they're not quite as absorbent as a pre-fold um, but they're a nice lightweight insert and they're also fantastic if you want to travel with your pocket nappies and you need something that's fast to dry. Now the second insert hack that I'm going to show you is the LET towel from IKEA. And the LET towel is something I discovered a few years ago when I was out shopping with my baby. And I was looking for something in the US at the time, flower sack towels, which I like, uh, they're like big square tea towels made of a, um, a type of like a, a more densely woven muslin than the baby muslin, but not as thick as flannelette. And so it's called flower sack fabric and people use them uh, for flats and for pre-folds and for stuffing nappies. Uh, for their babies. They're made from cotton. So I was looking for something like that and I was in Ikea and I came across the Ellie tea towel and depending on where you live uh, Ellie is generally about three to four dollars for a four pack so it's a really really budget tea towel. Um, it's really lightweight so I'll just show you the I don't know how well this will come up on the video but it's this kind of herringbone type weave and so it's a really flat you can see the crisscross pattern in the in the towel there um, and it's a like I said a really lightweight towel made from cotton you can substitute any flat woven cotton tea towel for the Ellie and what you do so you get your microfiber insert and you simply I'm just going to show you like this so you simply just wrap the tea towel around the insert just like that and then you stuff it into the pocket when you've got this combination, this offers you about two and a half times the absorbency of just that base microfiber insert. So it means that you can actually use the inserts that came with your nappies, but you can get a really great absorbent nappy uh, for a very minimal outlay 
when you use the cotton tea towel hack. And you can see that if you stuff that in the pocket, it's really, it's not bulky at all. It's actually a really, really trim hack and a really effective hack. So give that one a go. And the third hack that I'm going to show you is a cotton face washer or washcloth, depending on what you call that. And so the washcloth, uh, you need the adult size ones that you use for your family. So, and you know, in your linen cupboard, you probably have a heap of these lying around like we do from various towel sets and, and other things. And what you can do is you can um, just, you just fold it to fit into the nappy. So you'll take your microfiber insert and you'll use this to double it up. So what I'm going to do is I'll just fold this washcloth into three. And then I get my microfiber insert. I put them together. I put the microfiber on the top because it's the fast absorbing insert. And I put the washcloth on the bottom because it's the, I guess the slower absorbing lock in the moisture type insert. And then I just stuff them both into the pocket as usual. So um, once they're in the pocket of the cloth of the nappy, you've got about double the absorbency of this microfiber insert when you use the washcloth. And it's probably something you've already got at home. So um, three great budget hacks there for your pocket nappies. Um, let me know if you've got anything else that you like to use in your nappies at home. And um, there's so many fantastic ideas out there for cloth napping on a budget and I'd love to share them with you. So thanks for listening and we'll chat to you next time. Bye.